Hey everybody, it's Ramona, your Independent Sensi Consultant. Welcome back to a video, finally, a Sensi video. So this, uh, I was actually gonna probably put it together. I have the Bring Back My Bar collection over here and I have the Valentine's Day collection right here. So we'll probably knock out all these scents all at once. I do have a drop box right by my feet here. I'll try not to make too much noise when I'm dropping, but it's just gonna make life easier as far as the desk goes. So, Bring Back My Bar, going to be available January 1. So this, my box just came yesterday, so it's pretty late in the day to be talking about it. I'm probably sure, I'm sure you've seen other videos already, but I'm gonna give my two cents worth as well. And uh, so I just, as I said, ju they just arrived. These are cold sniffs only. Uh, this is Thursday. I'm going to try to melt a couple for Sensi Saturday. I'm not sure, I got a lot of, stuff to do tomorrow Friday but anyway if I don't get it done this Saturday and actually let me I'm going to take that back I don't want to make any commitments because I still have a couple of boxes to unpack downstairs plus I have some outdoor errands to run so next Saturday we'll get back into Sensi Saturday and we're going to hit it with some bring back my bar review so here we go cold sniff bring back my bar 2023 first one is apple press and this is a red wax. This is the smell. Oh, wait a second. Some of these are really small. Um, or I'm really old. Okay. Apple Press is the smell of crisp fall days, crunchy apples, juicy pears, and just a hint of the full roses of summer. So apples, pears, and roses. And I don't believe I've had this before. Oh, wow, that's nice. Uh, I'm going to try to, oh, this is going to be long, but I'm going to try to do as fast as I can. Well, not fast, too fast that I can't actually smell and give you an accurate thought. Or an intelligent thought. Okay, I definitely smell the apples. I really smell the pears. And I smell a little bit of floral in there, too. Very, very nice indeed. Very excited about that one. The next one is Autumn Blaze Maple. Like that. FYI, that chair there um, is my great... Is my great, great uncle's chair that got passed down and it had been home in Nova Scotia for years and years and years. And finally, mom has friends who were coming to Texas and they had a van and she asked them, could they take the chair back? And they were going to Austin. So I met them in Austin and that was about three years ago, but that chair has actually been mine for probably 20 years. So I'm so, so glad that I have it finally. But anyhow, way off topic, but anyway, I can definitely smell the maple in here as I'm talking and moving this around. The maple is really coming through. This is a bountiful harvest of crisp apples and earthy pumpkins with golden maple syrup, warm cinnamon, and a ribbon of smoldering oak. Okay, apples, pears, maple syrup, cinnamon, and oak. And as I said, I know it's heavy on the maple already. Yeah, it's heavy on the maple for sure. Um, I definitely get the smoldering note. That is very, very strong. So on cold, I'm getting smoldering oak. I'm getting maple syrup, but I'm not getting too much else. No, I do get some cinnamon. But as far as the apples and pumpkins go, nothing on cold. Autumn stroll, like that. These scent note descriptions are so long, okay. Amble under a bright harvest moon, leaves crunching underfoot as peppery cinnamon mingles with dusky plum and warm wood incense to create a spicy and comforting fragrance. Hello. All right. Uh, peppery cinnamon, plum, and wood incense. Cinnamon, plum, and incense. Okay, I wasn't really jazzed about the scent notes, but... I'm getting something peppery and I wouldn't describe it as cinnamon. So it's a peppery note. 
And definitely I'm getting the incense as well. On cold, I'm not really getting any dusky plum or any kind of fruit note. But I'm definitely getting the incense and the peppery note that they're calling cinnamon, but I didn't smell any cinnamon. Okay, coconut palm. Five minutes already. Holy cannoli. Okay, uh, a blend of tropical coconut and musky patchouli with subtle green notes. Coconut, patchouli, and green. And I'm going to try to link this in the description down below. I don't know if when you click on it, because it's going to take you to my workstation, and I don't know if it'll let you in. But um, uh, what else? How else could I get it to you? I could... Um, okay. if, if you want it, message me and I'll send it to you. We'll just move on for now. Okay. Coconut, patchouli, and green notes. Definitely coconut. I'm not getting any green because green is, you know, fresh grass, you know. And I'm really not getting any patchouli. Right now I'm getting coconut. So we'll have to wait and see how that goes. And coconut pump, uh, sorry, coconut pumpkin pie. Uh, fall's most delectable dessert enjoys an unexpectedly exotic touch as pumpkin puree, grated nutmeg, and maple sugar are heightened by a hint of coconut shavings. Pumpkin, nutmeg, maple, and coconut. Okay, I'm getting the pumpkin puree. A little bit of nutmeg. I'm not getting any coconut right now, but I'm definitely getting the pumpkin puree and the nutmeg. I, I, something that just flipped through my mind as I was smelling this is like, it smells kind of peppery, like something, I guess that could be the nutmeg, but it's a little bit peppery. So anyway, we'll have to wait and see how that goes. But I mean, so far I'm enjoying all of them. Cranberry muffin. And I believe I've had this before. Patricia gifted me a bar um, when we first met. Actually, I think she gave me a bar when we first met. Um, cranberry muffin is bursting with bright cranberries enveloped in a buttery brown sugar batter with nuances of walnuts and toffee. So cranberries, brown sugar, walnuts, and toffee. I got the cranberries for sure right off the top. Um, I'm getting a bakery scent in here. I guess it's the brown sugar batter. I'm definitely getting the batter thing. This might not have been the one that uh, Patricia gifted me because that one was heavy on the cinnamon and there's not any cinnamon in this. So that wasn't that. But this is yummy. Cranberries and batter for sure. I can't really say that I'm getting toffee or walnuts right now, but we'll see. Crumb top, like that, kind of a beigey color. The perfect blend of oats, butter, and brown sugar to top your favorite dessert. Ooh, that sounds yummy. Ooh, this is good, because I love oats and honey, and the other oat one was, um, it was oats and honey, and was it apples and oats, which I really loved. Yeah, this is uh, definitely a uh, warm kind of oatmeal-y without, uh, without the apple, but so that's really good. Next is cucumber lime. Not sure about this one. I love lime scents. Cucumber, not so much. This one is cool, refreshing blend of mellow cucumber and tangy lime. Wow, uh, it's very fresh, it's cucumber. Um, I'm actually getting, this 
it's funny, the top smells like cucumber with a little bit of lime. The bottom smells like a lot of lime with a little bit of cucumber. So I'm going to guess it's like, it's about 50-50. I'm just throwing numbers out for giggles. Actually, I'm going to like that. I Based on cold, I like that. 50-50 um, cucumber and lime, they're both very present. Flirtatious. Pretty pink. Fruity and vibrant, a combination of green apple, grapefruit, and white amber. I love everything grapefruit. Oh, gosh. I just remembered I took grapefruit to work today and I forgot to eat it. It's just sitting on the counter. Wow. Ooh, I get, the, I get apple, but it's not a really bright, crisp green apple, but I definitely get the apple scent and I get some grapefruit in there. A little bit of white amber, and maybe the amber is making it not as fresh and juicy because of the amber, but also nice. Wow, I'm liking all of these, even the one I didn't think I'd like. Uh, flower Shop is green like that, uh, just like walking into a flower shop. Well, okay then. This I was also worried about. Um, while I can smell the a little floral, what I smell more than that is the greenery. The stems, the leaves, the cuttings, you know, whatever. I guess that's why it's green. Interesting. I was expecting a very strong floral, and that's not it at all. It's definitely green. Alrighty, where we have fried ice cream is uh, vanilla with a nutty touch along with cinnamon and caramel. Vanilla, cinnamon, and caramel. Oh, ooh, ooh. It's kind of heavy on the cinnamon. Yeah, it's kind of heavy on the cinnamon. I'm not getting any caramel. I'm not getting any vanilla. I'm getting cinnamon. So we'll see what happens when that hits the warmer. Then we have a green tea smoothie. This is energizing green tea and fresh ginger with peach, nectarine, and cranberry. I love ginger scents. I love ginger in my food. Jason was sick last week, and I had one last Trader Joe's 100% ginger drink. It's not a tea. It's called ginger drink, 100% ginger. You have to love ginger. It is strong. It has a bite to it, and he didn't care for it, but I love it. Okay, uh, green tea, ginger, peach, nectarine, and cranberry. I am getting the green tea for sure. A little bit of ginger. I would say the green tea is taking over the fruit scents right now. I'm not getting any of the fruit notes. But anyway, I like green tea, so hopefully when we melt it, the... Um... um Fruit notes will come out. Oh, there's something in my eye. Hazelnut latte. Now, in the past, I've not been a fan of Sensi's coffee scents. And I can't say that even since I've been way back before I was a consultant, when I was a customer, they, do, they don't do a lot of coffee scents. So I'm curious to see how this one is. Uh, hazelnut latte. Uh, frothy steamed milk, toasted hazelnut, espresso, vanilla, and a dusting of cinnamon. Wow, that's good, Scentsy. That's a good coffee scent. I'm definitely getting the espresso, the hazelnut, a little bit of a milky note. I'm not really getting a whole lot of cinnamon, which I'm not mad about. Okay, that's going to be a good one. Uh, Mediterranean Spa, looking forward to this one. Pretty blue wax. Uh, relax with a smooth, fresh, and breezy scent. Ooh, that is good. Um, it's slightly, let me take that back. It is a little um, fresh like body wash fresh um 
my mind wants to say a men's fresh body wash. It's not really cologne or masculine or um, what's the candle I was going to take back and Jason wanted me to keep it. Um, there's definitely something in my eye. Um, it's definitely leaning towards masculine, but fresh, not in a cologne way, but in a good way. So we'll see how that goes. Um, melon and apple granita. Not hap not looking forward to this one. I don't like melon wax. Crisp apple, sweet melon, and citrus. Okay, it's not bad because, and I'm just, maybe my mind is playing tricks on me because of the color, but this is reading cantaloupe to me as opposed to honeydew. And I think a lot of uh, scents in wax, a lot of melon scents in wax are honeydew melon. And I, I have no idea. I'm not that, don't write that in stone. That's just my own thoughts. This smells more like honeydew to me, and I do love honeydew. A little bit of citrus. I can't really say that I'm getting apple. But anyhow, um, I like that. I like that too. Indeed, I do. Okay, next is, um, um, am I going to do the Valentine? Let's just wait and see what how time is. Oh, my God. Um, pear blossom and cucumber. And this is uh, a long one. And, you know, not only is this writing small, but there's something in my eye. Um, and it's blurry. It's the blooming beauty of spring, a resplendent garden flourishing with delicate pear blossom, rain-kissed jasmine, honeydew and Meyer lemon smoothed by a splash of cucumber water. Okay. Pear blossom, jasmine, honeydew, Meyer lemon, cucumber water. Let's see. I'm getting the honeydew. Um, a little bit of lemon and a watery note, cucumber water, okay. No, I'm not getting jasmine or any kind of floral note from jasmine or pear blossom. But what I do get, I like. You know, wow, these are really um, knocking it out of the park. Peppermint Rush. Now, I know um, this is really good and I can smell it already. I like Perfect Peppermint better, but I, can t I know I'm going to like this one too. Peppermint, sweet vanilla, and an accord of freshly fallen snow. Oh yeah, this is good. Oh, do you know what? I kind of like this better. If I, my closet's right there. I'm not going to go digging in it right now, but. Ooh, that is really good. That is really, really good. Oh, this might be one I put in my club. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, very good. If you like peppermint scents, if you like perfect peppermint, I think you're going to like this one too. And I'm very curious to know if you like it better than Perfect peppermint. Okay, here's another coffee one. Perk me up. This is simply the most perfect cup of coffee you'll ever experience. A strong brew of Guatemalan coffee beans and a touch of hazelnut. Yeah, definitely. I'm actually getting the hazelnut first and then the coffee. But I'm not getting any sweetness. There's no sugar. There's no creamy note. There's no milk in here. Just coffee and hazelnut. And I like that one. What are we at? 19 minutes. Pima cotton. And I do love cotton scents. A light, clean blend of lilies, freesia, and jasmine. Okay, well, where's the cotton in here? Ooh, nope. Negative. Negative. It's a lot of floral. Lilies, freesia, and jasmine, which are all strong competitors. I, You know what? I do get a little hint of a cotton, like as if you were drying sheets on the lawn and your clothesline was right in front of a flower garden. 
So I, I take that back. I do get the cotton sheets. There's no sheets in here, but I'm getting cotton sheets, but a lot of floral with it as well. So that's, that's a maybe. Quiver, which is very popular all the time when it comes out. This is Innocent Vanilla Flower, Warm Sandalwood, which I love. Um, and sultry night blooming tuberose in a seductive scent meant to cause a shiver of delight. Vanilla flower, sandalwood, tuberose. Ooh, this is nice. This, if you like um, satin sheets, if you like cashmere and corduroy, if you like cozy cardigan, the uh, midnight fig, That's it's in those kind of sultry scents. That's really good. That might be a contender for the club as well. And then we have Rum Raisin Cookie. Now remind me, is this the one that came out as a brick, um, maybe last winter's holiday brick collection? I, yep, I believe it is because I can smell the clove. It's quite strong. This is freshly baked cookie dough, sumptuously spiced with rum, raisin, and clove. But I might be thinking of something else. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I was thinking um, uh, Amy Jackson um, ordered like a whole bunch of the, the bricks, but they weren't, it, it was walnut. I think it was walnut raisin cookie, I think. That's the one I'm thinking of. And that was heavy in cinnamon. Anyhow, let's talk about this one. Uh, rum raisin cookie. <laughs> this right now is heavily studded with cloves. I do get a little of the cookie note. I get cookie and clove. So, but that's hopefully if the other notes will come out, if that's going to be a really good one. Spiced berries. This is. Frankincense and myrrh waft beneath decadent berries to create a timeless scent. Frankincense, myrrh, and berries. I don't remember ber berries me being one of the gifts of the Magi, but. Interesting. I don't know that I've ever smelled frankincense or myrrh. Um... Huh, I was just going to say, it's, it kind of reminds me of incense. Well, it's frankincense. Right now, all I'm getting is frankincense, and what I'm guessing is myrrh. I'm not getting the berry note. So we'll have to wait and see about that. We'll take a wait and see approach on that one. Uh, sticky cinnamon bun. Cinnamon sweet icing with a with warm, nutty nuances. I'm getting cinnamon and burnt nuts. Yeah, I'm getting something burnt in there, so. We'll see on that. Vanilla cream, and I do love vanilla scents. French vanilla with a touch of coconut milk. I'm definitely getting the vanilla. Almost like, it's, well, the name is vanilla cream and I'm smelling vanilla bean buttercream. So that's probably the base of this with coconut milk added, but I'm not smelling the coconut milk. No, I'm not smelling the coconut milk. Then finally, Woodland Suede is green. Um, let's see. Um, retreat to a tranquil wooded wonderland Redolent with red oak, smoky cedar, suede musk, and bright winter lemon. Okay, oak, cedar, musk, and lemon. Definitely getting the musk, definitely musky. 
but I am getting the wooded wonderland vibe, the woodsy vibe. Not getting any winter lemon. Definitely woods and musk, but it, it's nice. I like it. I do like it. Um, okay, so that's it for the Bring Back My Bar. Um, so I hope you're taking notes, or if you want a copy of this, let me know. And uh, I guess send me a message on either Facebook or Facebook Messenger, um, Instagram. Can you add, can you send attachments in an Instagram message? Not sure. Probably Facebook Messenger would be the best way to do it, or you can email me. Um, I'll have my email address in the link down below as well, and I'll send you a copy of this as well. So this is all the sent notes. So um, take notes, watch the video again, get this if you want it, and then you can kind of be prepared of what you want to do. Don't forget to bundle and save, and then you'll have an idea of what you want on January 1. So that's that. Then I guess we'll just jump on into it. We're not hit 30 minutes yet, so let's keep her going. So this is the Valentine's Day collection, and I am so sorry, I cannot recall off the top of my head when this is releasing. <clears throat> I'm not sure when this is releasing, actually. Um, it's either going to be the first or usually could be the, the following Monday. Um, I apologize, but it'll be up on my website when, when it's released. Anyway, <clears throat> pardon me. Okay. <clears throat> There's three uh, bars in this collection, and the first one is Clementine Blossom, and I'm pretty sure you can order these, you know, most collections are the same, you can order the whole collection or one at a time. Oh, let me go back to here. Do not forget to add your favorites to your Scentsy Club. Now, these are not unlimited, okay? So these may sell out at some point, I mean, not anytime soon, but... If there's something in here that you think you're going to like, either if you're going to order on the first and you get it and you know, or you're not going to be ordering until, say, payday in two weeks or whatever the situation is, based on what I have said and others have said in the scent notes, if you think you're going to like it, I highly suggest you add it to your Scentsy Club. If you don't have a Scentsy Club, get one going. You can always take it out. Easy peasy. You're not committed at all. But if you wait until it's gone or until you wait until February 1st and you said, oh crap, I should have put Crumb Top in my club, it's too late. Okay, so club, 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 club. All right, Clementine Blossom. Golden Citrus surprises pink nectar and a sugar blossom treat. It's sweet. I'm, get I'm getting the citrus. Um, and I'm getting, I feel like I'm getting grapefruit, but I guess that maybe that's in the citrus or the pink citrus or the pink nectar, but it's a good one. I like it. I like the citrus scent, so that's good. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. Starburst Sky is next. Sweet apple mesmerized by whipped vanilla and creamy coconut clouds against an amber blossom sun. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Apple, vanilla, coconut, amber. Oh, wow. Wow. That is really good. What time is it? A little bit of apple, but I'm definitely getting vanilla and coconut and some kind of light floral which I guess is the amber blossom this is very nice like I said right now no apple vanilla coconut and a light floral very very nice okay so far that's probably my favorite of yep well I was gonna say everything I smell tonight but that's big that's big to say but it's right up there oh <laughs> Uh, but it's right up there is one of the, my favorites of the night. And then finally, we have Pink Sunshine. Lush Pear and Plum Cozy Up with Cashmere and a Glass of Rose Milk. And these also I will review separately in their own video. I'm definitely getting the pear. If you like pear scents, Pink Sunshine, I think you're going to really like 
I'm getting pear and a little bit of rose. And I'm not mad about it at all. Okay, my friends, um, that is it for the Bring Back My Bar first sniffs and the Valentine's Day uh, first sniffs. If you have any questions, let me know. If you want a copy of this with the scent notes, uh, A, send me a, um, a Facebook a Messenger text and I can get it to you quickly or email me and it might take a little bit longer because I'm not always checking my email, but you can do that too. Um, and if you think of any other way I can get it to you, please let me know and I'll get it to you because I really want you to have this. This is where all the action is right here. Okay, so that wraps it up. As I said, Bring Back My Bar is releasing on the 1st. I can't remember if the Valentine's Day is collecting on the 1st or the, or the, or the 7th or the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or the 8th. Um, but it, you'll see it on, I'll, I'll splash it everywhere. Um, and I think that's all I have to say right now. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, also, please, again, take advantage of Sensi Club. There's no commitment to Sensi Club. There's no dues. There's nothing. It's just like setting up your auto delivery of the things that you love and you don't want to be without. If I say I didn't want to be without pink sunsh, no, 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 sunshine, what is this? Starburst Day, I could put this in my club and it will stay in my club forever and ever and ever, even after it's sold out or been taken off the shelves. You will continue to get what you have in your club for you, okay? All right. All right, that's it, friends. Um, again, I don't think there's going to be Sensi Saturday this weekend, but starting next week, we're going to get back into Sensi Saturday. And I'll try to get a lot of these Bring My Bars done quickly. So you'll know, you know, you've got your cold thoughts. And then when I warm them, I'll give you some more thoughts and, and see if that's helpful for you. Anyhow, that's it now. Um, have a lovely evening. I hope everybody's doing well, and I'll see you soon.